hello everyone so in this video we will talk about the company code we have already learned about the client so after the client in the enterprise structure and organizational unit the next step is to create our company code so client is the top node after the client we have company code so just take the example of general motors uh, this company is uh, maybe based on based in a uh, us so they have a group company and in this company code there are several different company code in different countries so in each country they have to you know maintain the financial statements for legal requirements so they have to submit they have to you know generate the financial accounts like balance sheet and profit and loss accounts and they then this financial statements has to be submit to the legal uh, department of that particular country so each legal entity which is a separate legal entity uh, for a company group is called the company code so we have to create a separate company code for each legal entity in general motors if it is us based it may have so many plants but it's a one company so they uh, they have one uh, you know plant manufacturing unit in one state in california in uh, they have a different plant in the second plant in different state and they have you know manufacturing plant or sales plant in different countries in india in china in japan so in india and japan and china they have a different manufacturing units and the sales units and they are selling they are manufacturing the you know products and they are selling over there they are exporting so they have to maintain the books of account for each country for legal requirements so that is called company code so for each country for each separate legal entity we have to create a separate company code so this is the explanation a company code is the most fundamental organizational unit for financial accounting in the sap as for hana system it represents the legal entity for which a complete self contained set of accounts can be created this includes both accounts needed for the entry of all posting transactions and all items for legal legally requirement financial statement that is the balance sheet and the profit and loss account for the local authorities this is the path spro enterprise structure and this is the t code so now i am going to open the sap first time in front of you and i'll show you how we will use this path and the t codes so now so this is the server you may be getting after registering with us so here is the sap logon you have to click open it and as for hana double click over here and you know this is the client code i was talking about in earlier videos so the 100 is for development in this server we have two clients client 100 client 400 but in general practice when you work with the real project so you will get a different not different a window you will get uh, you know there is no need to enter the code every time so in this screen itself you will get the link for development quality and the production but as a end user they will get only for the production client but as a functional or technical consultant you will get the access to all the clients so here i'm using 100 client so here we need to enter the username and the password when we enter we will get sap easy access screen so this screen is used by the end user only for a functional consultant or a technical consultant we will use the spro img screen where we will get all functions or uh, related to the configuration so 
this is the field in which we enter any t code in the ppt i explained one ox02 t code i used so we can use a path or a t code so t code is the shortcut so initially you will uh, it is difficult for you to remember all the t code so you can you know access all the configuration using the path but slowly slowly you need to remember all those t codes as well so i am going to configuration so i will type spro you need to remember this spro because this will be used very frequently and this is the img option click over here so these are the options related to configuration so you can see there are one arrow is available so this is sp sap customizing implementation screen and if you want to learn anything so click on the documentation so you will get the help or the documentation or information about this option so img means implementation guide for r3 customization you can close this and you can you can uh, manage or sap made this notes like a tree or you just you know imagine these are the folders so this is the main folder under this we have different different folders you can see one arrow when we click on it so some another folder will open so i will uh, somebody you know few people are uh, called them notes or uh, not i pronounced these as a folder so in later videos whenever i talk about or i pronounce any you know folder so this is the sap netweaver folder so you need to understand i am talking about this one and more frequently we will use financial accounting and uh, controlling uh, so enterprise controlling so we will use these folders only under which we have all the options so now come back to the company code so company code will be available in the enterprise structure so we will learning about the enterprise structure so i will click over here and there are two parts one is definition in the sap first we define something then we assign those to another setting so first we have to define the company code so i will click over here and here we have some different options so we are going to learn financial accounting so click on the financial accounting as well so here we can define the company then this is the option where we can create the company codes you know but before that i'll explain how you create the group company or the company the main company the general motors we are talking about the main company na so that is the option we need to define then we'll come back to the company code okay so click over here to define the company so here you can see the list entry one of this i selected this uh, field or this row so you can see entry one of triple one so here total company already created the number of companies created 111 if i select this one so you can see entry one if i go down so entry number two so you can see more so this is the option position if we know the company code so we will click here we will type the company code and click over here so we will go down like i have created 1101 so it will move over here okay so this is the way we go to a particular code if we know that okay so now you can see one option new entry so click over here and now enter the company code see in sap everything will be defined in codes then we define the name and their related information so uh I, i'll give you the logic about it uh what is the logic behind this codes coding system so now create your first company so i am thinking of sv01 so this is the code i am going to give and this will be abcd limited this is the main group company okay and you can give if there is a limitation of uh, number of characters in a particular field so you have a different field in which we can enter 
the remaining part if the name is longer which is not coming in this field so you can use remaining part over here so street number country and now you see when i clicked over here i can't see any option over here but when i click over here we can see one you know search type of option is coming over here so now click over here so we can see one country uh, two fields over here in which two digits codes are coming and the name is coming so these are the predefined country codes and their de description so this time our country is uh, us so us is already defined so i see u over here us usa select and click over here so it means there are few things which is already defined in sap then we have to select from these options if you find any uh, if you find this option in any field so you have to click and you have to select or shortcut key is f4 once you click f4 you will get list and you have to select any option from this list similarly in the language key press f4 these are the language which we have to maintain in this company code not company code in company so we will manage in english so select and currency currency is also predefined so this would be usd so you can type once you start typing you will see the options so you have to select any option and now you press on the save button postal code must postal now you can see one error is coming in the red so postal code must be in the five digits so in us the postal codes are maintained in the five digits that depends on the country now this is the customizing request you know in earlier slides i was talking about we have to manage three clients 100 200 300 or something like that and uh, we uh, you know we entered in client 100 right now we are working in client 100 now we have to you know move this configuration to another client so whatever the setting we are doing whatever the configuration we are doing right now is you know we have to save in some request number then we will use this request number in another client and we will import all the configuration from this client to that client so for this every time when we do any setting of the configuration or we do any alteration so we need to create this customizing request that is very important in sap so you have to remember so we have already created one all users are working over here so all having different numbers so you have to give proper description for your customizing request so that you can identify the configuration of this particular request so now click over here for creating a new one so give the short description so now i will give define new company this is not the code company veer i'm just writing my name because there are so many users are working in the same server so it is you know easy for me to identify define new company veer and i will save it and it will generate the new code and you have to copy and paste in your uh, you know some diary or some uh, you know word file or excel file you are managing for future references and click over here and now we can see data was saved option is coming so it means we have created our first company code sv01 so you have to remember sv01 so we have created our company not the company code sorry so now click over here to go back so we can see our company is coming over here so we have created our group company this is the main company in which we will manage all the company codes okay we will assign this company to another company codes in coming videos in the next video i'll uh, i'll explain how we create a new company code